And now we are. I always say that when it starts counting down. You guys, this is Fletcher. Literally, his name is Fletcher. 874. He's 16 hands tall. He rides English and Western. They said that when they bought him, a little girl bought him um, to make a jumping horse. And that he has had some lower level dressage type training. Because he was supposed to be a hunter. And he was just a little bit like fast and a little kind of wanted to jump from a little bit bigger spot. So he didn't make a hunter. So then he was being used for dressage. And I think he's just a grade horse. I don't think he's I don't think he's a thoroughbred or anything. I think he's just a grade horse. But anyway, long story short, started as a hunter, didn't make a hunter. Then they did dressage type lessons on him. He was doing fantastic. But listen, for the last three and a half years, he's been rode by a rodeo queen who was also play daying on him. And he runs the barrels and poles. And they said that he's a pretty jam up barrel horse. Dara did take him through the barrels. We can testify this horse has no cheat. He really wants to turn. He'll stand up. He wants to be phenomenal. I don't think that he was probably trained by like a fraternity trainer. He's not something that, um, he's got a little stiffer style, but I think he's fast. I mean, I think he's something that if you're in the market for a horse that you can go haul and maybe turn into a 1D horse, this horse has the motor. She said, I know that you guys are going to have a hard time hearing her, that he only goes as fast as you push him. You want to walk, he'll walk. You want to trot, he'll trot. You want to lope, he'll lope. If you drop the hammer and send him, he'll run the pattern, and then you can take him right back through and walk him. I think anybody could handle him too. He was sold to us as absolutely youth suitable. And he was sold to us as a horse that was at an English program. And how old was he? Nine? Right, he was nine. Anyway, they bought him three years ago. And he had been in an English program for two years. So, he had been in an English program for two years. They bought him three years ago for three years. Well, a little over three years now. They've done barrels and poles and all the play day events. And they said at the local play days, he can win first in the barrels and poles. He runs poles. I asked about the pole and barrel times. They said that in like the 16 and over classes, he can win. So that's at the local stuff. From what I saw with Dara taking him through, I think he has the potential to be a phenomenal barrel horse. I think he could be a Wendy barrel horse. He's got a big motor and a great move on the backside. He's not messed up. I don't think somebody's been riding him, though, that's that kind of rider. I think somebody's been riding him that's probably a 3D, 4D rider, and then they go to the local play days and clean house, but this horse has the potential to be better than that. His teeth have never been floated. He still has a wolf tooth. His teeth are as bad as I've ever seen, ever, on any horse, and he's completely unproblematic. His feet are okay. They need trimmed, and he probably could, I mean... <laughs> Well, they told Jacob that he was in great condition. And they were like, oh, he looks so good. He's such a hard keeper. I'm going to tell you, this horse could probably use... Will you back him up right there? This horse could use some weight to me. You can see that he's... He doesn't look terrible, but he could sure use some weight. He is. He is. He's probably one of the nicer horses we've had here as far as just temperament. Anybody on this place can ride him. Mm -hmm. You can walk up to him and catch him anywhere. He's just right 15, 3, 16 hands tall. He's a big horse. I feel like he needs more weight, but they said he's a hard keeper and he looks great. I think he needs more weight. He's a sound horse. I saw him through the barrels. Dara rode him through the barrels, and this is a super nice horse. On Tuesday, we're going to set the barrels up, and we're going to take all the horses that know the barrels through the barrels and get videos of them through the barrels on Tuesday. That's our game plan. 
I haven't checked the weather. Is it supposed to be nice Tuesday? Yeah, I don't have both phones on me. Yeah, he does pick his feet up good. We'll get photos of him. And I'm telling you, he is just... I'm telling you, when I stuck my fingers in there, I about died. This horse's teeth are... They are super bad. I'm telling you, the first thing I felt was a wolf tooth. I mean, this horse's teeth have never been floated. Ever. You can see right here, he's nine years old. He's got a nine-year-old... He still has that nine-year-old groove off the back right there. He's nine years old. So, he's nine. But, I mean, he'll walk trot lope. Anybody can ride him. He rides double. Dara would say that Lane could take him anywhere on this place. Lane could ride. I mean, he's honestly, swear to God, bomb-proof. Gentle. We didn't try him through the trail course or anything like that because he's not a trail-type horse. Not that he will or won't do it. He is not registered. They said he came off the track. I don't think he's a thoroughbred, though. He's not tattooed, and I don't think that he's, um, since somebody keeps, are you sure he's not tattooed? Yeah, we're definitely not blind. <laughs> we're not blind, but. Uh, there's no tattoo. There is no tattoo there. It's yeah. completely pink. It's completely pink, but he is a nine-year-old, and I think he's an off-the-track quarter horse is what I would say. Like, they said they bought him off the track. Here's the thing. Tattooing only happens if they're going to race them. So he probably was just something that they knew when he was younger, he wasn't going to make it. So, but anyway, this is a super nice, super nice horse. I think anybody could do anything with him. He's unproblematic. You can catch him anywhere, do anything with him. And like I said, on Tuesday, we're going to disc that up a little bit better. We're going to set the barrels up. And on Tuesday, we're going to get uh, videos of him. 449, the little mare in the barn. There's like five or six, right, that are pretty nice to the barrels. All right, you guys. This is Fletcher. I like him. Yeah, he does, doesn't bother me at all. Oh, we have the two Palominos. Yeah. Yeah, he does fit really easy. Yeah, he's beautiful. Yep, we'll probably get videos of Fuel My Caboose, Chase, the Sorrel Mare, him. There's um, the Texas brand. There's like five or six for sure that we'll get videos of that know the barrels. And I did order a set of pole bases. And for whatever reason, my Big D account sent them to Louisiana. And then I begged Jacob over and over and over again to bring them. And he keeps forgetting them. But all right. Yeah. Well, they said that he was started out as a jumper, like a, a hunter in the beginning, but he was really fast and really wanted to kind of jump from a big spot. And then, so they started him kind of doing some dressage type lessons because he was broke enough for a, like a youth, you know, so they did like some beginner dressage. They could give lessons on him, walk, trot, canter, all of that. And then um, that lesson facility sold him, and they used him for three years as a barrel and pole horse. He did come with a name, yes. He's got good feet, yeah, for sure. Yep, he did come with that name. All right, you guys, on to the next one. What else did you try through the barrels? Was it something today that was really good? It was yesterday. It was the little sorrel mare. Super nice. All right, you guys, on to the next one.